Hello everyone, welcome back again with us at Military TV. Today we're going to talk about one of the important panels that exists on the tank, but not a lot of people actually know their purpose. You might even hear that they have to do with squadron or company markings. To make it clear, let's check it out. The Combat Identification Panel, also known as the Coalition Identification Panel, or simply CIP, is a device mounted on military ground vehicles that are used by the United States Army or United States Marine Corps and its allies to distinguish them from the enemy during battle. They were developed after the first Gulf War to reduce friendly fire incidents among Allied ground forces. These panels are designed to produce a distinct and easily identifiable infrared signature when seen through thermal imaging systems. CIP panels first saw widespread use in Operation Iraqi Freedom where nearly all coalition vehicles were equipped with these devices, usually mounted on the sides and rear of the body or turret. Some were even mounted on the driver and front passenger doors of Humvees with a special cutout so the door handle could still be accessed through the panel as well as on the hood between the windshield and the top grill. This practice actually predates the existence of the Israeli Defense Forces IDF. The most common name is Chevron. The Germans, French, and US used them inconsistently during World War I and World War II. The Israelis were the first to use it systematically. At one point, the IDF had many different types of tanks on the battlefield. For example, both the Israelis and Jordanians were using M4s and M48s. The IDF also had a knack for utilizing captured equipment early on. It becomes necessary to incorporate simple visual symbols that friendly units could use to identify as friend or foe. In a nutshell, they are intended to reduce friendly fire. Several allied nations have also used this scheme in modern times, including the U.S. Army during Desert Storm. This has since evolved to IRIFF markings collectively known as Combat Identification Panels CIP, and more recently JSIMs. While the Israelis tend to use them as traditional markings, the Allied Armored Forces during Desert Storm and U.S. forces during the invasion phase of Operation Iraqi Freedom OIF, use them functionally. They serve as both an identification friend or foe IFF symbol to prevent friendly fire and as a logistical train identifier to keep in step with specific units in the presence of massive numbers of vehicles. The combat identification panel has one primary component, a flat or Venetian style panel approximately 1 8 inch thick by 24 inch high by 30 inches long, covered with a low emissivity thermal tape. The panels are installed flat against the vehicle's exterior shell with Velcro or placed inside a bracket adapted to hang on the vehicle's exterior. CIPs can be mounted in an operational, thermal tape out, or reversed to a non-operational, chemical agent resistant coating CARC, paint side out mode. When viewed through FLIR thermal sensors, the CIP shows up as a contrasting cold spot on the hot target image. In the engagement process, a gunner would use this contrast to determine if the target vehicle is friendly or unknown. Tests show that the use of CIP serviceability affect the image gunners see through their thermal sights. The CIP is mounted to provide all aspect coverage, however terrain features such as trees and other vegetation, proper defilade firing positions and other obstacles will break up the thermal image of any vehicle. The question is, what is the significance of the inverted V on the side corners of US tanks? Well, the V-shaped markings are chevrons. They are painted on the tank skirts and used for identification. Although there is no standardized system, there can be additional markings for other subordinate units, such as lines or multiple chevrons. Numbers may identify platoons and individual tanks. As an aside, as we understand it, during the first Gulf War, all coalition vehicles had an upward-facing chevron on their skirts. Despite this, there were still numerous friendly fire incidents. Now let's take a look at the tank in this video. The two-digit number represents the battalion and company. The tank in this video belongs to the 00 battalion within that particular division. 
Since it has just a 0, zero it is a headquarters tank, either the battalion commander or executive officer. Alpha Company tanks would be 0, 01, Bravo 0, 02, Charlie 0, 03, and Delta 04. A smaller chevron denoted the platoon. If it pointed left, it was first platoon. Up was second, and right was third. If a unit had a fourth platoon, it pointed downward, and a fourth platoon was normally only found in cavalry troops. The two-digit number on the flank indicates which platoon and tank it is. For example, number 21 equals second platoon, first tank. Also, the large chevron on the vehicle in this video was the coalition chevron, used to identify friendly vehicles during Desert Storm. They were removed shortly after the war. During the first Gulf War, however, the single upward-pointing chevron was used to identify all coalition forces. Some vehicles will have two chevrons. Since this vehicle doesn't have a second chevron, it is one of the two battalion headquarters tanks. In conclusion, the V-shaped markings on American tanks are used for identification purposes as well as to tell which company and platoon the tank belongs to. A good example of this was during the Gulf War, where all friendly tanks used the V-shaped chevrons for identification purposes. Thanks for watching and see you in the next videos.